Hello everyone, today I'm gonna to be showing you something fun where you can assign a random texture depending on your different configurations. For example, this is foliage, choosing a different texture each time, an instanced mesh, an instanced layered mesh, as well as individual objects also are able to randomly choose their own random texture depending on this position. So let's get into it. So here we are in a brand new project and I'm gonna get started by showing you the simplest method that uses instant meshes, sort of like foliage. So we just go ahead and right click, create a new material and we call it M random texture, open it up. Now for this, it's quite simple. So first let's bring in our textures that we wanna swap around. So I just downloaded a few random textures from Megascans and we'll be using that. So I'll bring in the diffuse out of all of them. Okay, so these are the four random ones that I'm gonna be swapping between. Now, what we're gonna to need to do is just right click and search random and get per instance random. What this is, it on every copy of an object that is an instance, it will generate a random number between zero and one. Now to use this, all we need to do is come out of here and get ourselves a switch node. So the way this works is based on a value that is input here, it will choose the node and it is integer based. So zero, one, two, three, four, five. And here I can go ahead and add more inputs. You can see index zero and give it a name if I'd like. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure there's four inputs and I'm gonna plug in four inputs here. Now this is technically not gonna work, right? Because this is gonna go from zero to one. So at it's gonna be default most times, which is zero. And in fact, to make sure that we have something in the default at all times, I'll plug this guy in as the default. So the way we select a random one is we're going to multiply our per instance random by four. So that way it will go from zero to four now. And then we're gonna take the floor of that. So what that means, if it's zero to one, it will, assuming it's not exactly one, it'll pick zero, one to two will be one, two to three will be um, two, three to four will be three, which is guess is what we want. If it somehow picks exactly one here, multiplied by four will be four, and we don't have a four, that's where it'll just choose the default. So in 99% of the cases, it will choose one of these. And if it somehow picks perfectly one, it'll go to default. So we'll go ahead and plug this into our switch value, plug this into our base color. And now what I'm gonna do is take this material and I've gone ahead and downloaded a rock here. And I'm just going to assign this material as the default here. Obviously it's not gonna work correctly in terms of visuals, but you will get the idea with this. What I'm gonna do is go into foliage and I'm going to make this a foliage actor. Now to paint this, uh, if you're wondering why your paint does not show up, it's because this is a movable object. So if I select this and set it to static and then open up my foliage, you can see now my rock has appeared and I'm gonna reduce the density just a tad and then I'm gonna draw here. And as I draw, you see, it has now picked a random texture from these, make this a little less dense still. So when you draw it, it, it chooses the same one, but once you let go, it goes ahead and picks a random texture on here. This is step one of how to actually set up a random texture to apply to your objects. Now, what if you want to have this object in the level, right? Let's say you have manually placed a bunch of these in your level and now you want these to all to have random textures. There's a few ways of doing that. One of them is to select all of these, go to actor, merge, batch, and it has converted them into a single blueprint actor that is an instant static mesh, which is, so now they have a random value on them. By having them as a, this blueprint, and which you can save by going up here and then clicking, giving it a name. So I'll call it random rock. Go ahead and put it into my materials folder for now, which is fine. Click select. And there's our instance rock and it's all instant static meshes. So it's also more optimized and they all have this random material applied to them. So that's great. But what if you don't want to have this instanced mesh? What if you want to keep them separate? Well, we can do that as well. These are now all individual once again, and they're using the default. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up our material and we're gonna modify this. So what I'm gonna do is add a static switch parameter. I'm gonna call this instanced mesh. And if it is an instance mesh, sort of like what we have here, whether it's foliage or an actual instance mesh, it will be true, but default will be true. And if it's false, then we want to configure this. So for false, what we're gonna do is use the object position in world space. 
and we're going to take the three components and I'm going to add the R, G and B together. And then I'm going to, once again, use the frac node to only get the fractions, the decimal points. So effectively this becomes between zero and one. And then after the frac, what we need to do is multiply it by four and floor it just like we did up here. I'll just duplicate that, copy it, plug it in. Otherwise, of course, it's gonna go between zero and one or we want it to be zero and four. Apply the material to all of these. And you can see as I move these, it is changing it, but it's, if I keep them on a grid, it is going to all be the same. So the way to combat this is by taking our object position and multiplying it by three random values. So I'll multiply this by one, slam my fingers down, plug that in, and there you go. So now when I drag this around, even on actual grids, it is picking a random texture. So now I can use this anyway one, I can position this as you can see. Now there's one other thing that I should mention for all of this. There is now a fourth method and that is if you're using layered materials. This setup will not work in a layered setup and let me show you. I made a copy of this instance mesh and I want to show you if you want to use a layered setup with this, it actually won't work. So to get a layered setup going, I'll go ahead and make a new folder called layered and here we'll go ahead and make a new material and a new material layer. Open up the main material, use material attributes, search layered for material attribute layers and plug this in. Of course, that's all we need to do here. And for the material layer, I'll go ahead and expose the base color. And I'm just going to grab the original stuff we've done here, copy all of this, plug this in and plug that in here. So now, if I go ahead and make an instance of the main group and in here, I'm going to open up our instance static mesh in here and just apply that new instance to it. Now, of course it is black because we haven't plugged in our layered asset. Plug that in. You could see that it is all the same object. And if I turn off instance static mesh, you could see it's now working. But as you might notice, it is, it is the same op texture in all of them, despite all being offset. So neither one of these is working. And the reason is when it's an instant mesh, it does not actually read the information inside of a layer. This information, because it's inside of a material layer is not being read and the position doesn't work because the object itself is a single blueprint and it is using that information instead of the individual information. So how do we get it to be randomized inside of a layered instance setup? That's actually quite easy to do. So we're actually not going to need any of this. Go ahead and remove all this, remove that. So we're going to take this per instance random, we're going to cut it from there and we're going to put it into here, into our main base material. So I'm going to search for set material attributes. I'm going to plug this in here and we're going to set one of the custom UV nodes that we're not going to use sort of like custom UV seven. And instead of plugging this in directly, I'm just going to append a zero to it because it is a float tooth for UVs. So I'm just going to plug this in so that we know this is the red channel. This is the green channel or X and Y. If I go into our material layer, I go ahead and hold down U and left click grab seven. That is our custom UV. And then component mask. And we're going to mask the red channel, plug this in and plug this into our switch. And you can see they've all gone a random texture. And if I go in here, right, I can just move this around. This is a per instance. So if I I'll drag from the instance, you can see because they are all instances, they're all getting a random color. Of course, I can move now the whole thing around. So that is how you use an instance setup along with a layered setup. So effectively we now have an instanced layered setup down here, an instance setup here, a per object setup and a, like an instance foliage setup. Hopefully that will take care of all your needs in terms of getting a random uh, texture for this. I hope this has been helpful to you guys. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.